if there is one thing that I've learned from the happiest people I've ever met is that you have to stop taking yourself so seriously. Like literally, there's a handful of things that matter in life and then the rest, the rest is bullshit, darling. You know who my favorite people are? Those old people who almost take nothing seriously. You know, the type who do something embarrassing and then laugh at themselves. The type who can pull you out of a negative spiral with a snarky remark. The type who find amusement in any situation. Those type of people. Besides providing a lot of comfort in difficult situations, I think these types of people hold a very valuable life lesson. In order to enjoy life, you need to stop taking life seriously. Besides their amazing attitude towards life, what fascinates me the most about these people is that most of them are the exact same people who have suffered the most. You know, those who truly went through the horrors this life has to offer. As I am telling you this, the image of my great grandpa appears in my mind. I have never ever met a more witty, jovial, full of life person who had so much positive impact in his life and in the life of others whilst being absolutely unserious. You know, he was someone who knew when to take things seriously or when to lock in, as we might say, but most importantly, when to approach situations with amusement, with laughter, with ease. All of this was despite him being someone who, you know, fought in a war when he was very young. Someone who lived through a totalitarian regime. Someone who survived famines. And someone who watched his loved ones decay right in front of him. When I asked him about his attitude towards life, he said that he managed to be happy despite all of this because, quote unquote, few things matter, which is a very interesting statement to say the least, especially from someone who lived through what he lived through. Although my great grandpops is no longer with us to explain himself further, which honestly I would have loved to hear, I would like to take on his mantle and understand why he found so much strength in taking things unseriously and how we can do this without going through the horrors of life that he was unfortunate enough to see. As a child, adults always struck me as serious and somber. You know, I'd see them in their polished shoes, perfectly ironed clothing, just clicking and clacking away at their keyboards with a speed so big you'd think that they are discovering the next big thing, that they're saving the world. I'd see them in pubs, holding their red faces in their palms, in a state between exhaustion and sadness, as they air out their grievances over one or 10 drinks. I'd see them all dressed up impeccably at formal events, looking with silent disapproval and superiority at anyone who even dares breathe in a way that is not approved. And even when they were playing nice, nobody's smile was reaching their eyes. I always found that particularly weird. You see, I genuinely did not understand, as a child, what the point of being so somber and serious was. Why adults only allowed themselves such a small window to be human, unserious, unfiltered. Why they limit their honest existence between four walls. Well, as I grew into an adult, I came to understand that all of this somber attitude was actually a protection mechanism against the raging sense of urgency that is present in the adult world. You see, as you grow older, it seems like there is an endless supply of things to do. You need to plan your next career move. You're not making enough money, you must try harder. Your network is too small. Go talk to some twat about nothing at a networking event. Have you ever thought about your impact? What about your self-development? Working out? Marrying? Children? Oh, by the way, when is the last time you called your mom? Break? What do you mean you need a break? You just went to the toilet 30 minutes ago. Shall I go on? Or do you get the idea? This endless supply of work is to be expected. The world is a vast place and you must pick and choose your battles. But that is a story for another time. What gets to me, however, is this imposed sense of urgency that is put on all of these things, no matter how big or small they are. The sense that if you fall short in only one of these aspects, your life might as well be over. We are made to feel like everything is urgent, critical, pivotal. 
I also think that this false sense of urgency is exacerbated by social media in a sense because we are so engulfed in social media nowadays that one cannot help but feel bad and feel like they're missing out or feel like they're not doing enough in life when they see everyone going out, doing smoothies, going on runs, running multi-million dollar businesses. It has come to this point where it's not even only adults that feel like this, it's even children. I mean, I remember I saw this kid he must have been like 12 13 talking about his millionaire morning routine and he was like doing fucking burpees at six in the morning like child go play outside what have we done wrong that everyone feels like they're missing out and everyone feels like they're not good enough unless you know they're doing all of these things and they're balancing them perfectly and they wake up at three in the morning and they go on a two-hour run and then they climb the himalayan mountains and they meditate there and then they go to their six-figure job and then they manage their business they go to a club in ibiza and then they go back to sleep obviously this is an extreme example but at the same time it does happen on social media so i think that also social media is a very very big contributor to this con constant constant sense of urgency before ending this little parentheses because now i'm going off script i would also like to call your attention to hustle influencers and lifestyle influencers in general please be careful because i've noticed that these are the types of people who are most likely to create a sense of urgency for the sole reason of selling you something you know run don't walk to get this thing or oh yeah this thing completely changed my life and it made me happy and it's like a fucking hair roller set please 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 be careful when you look at these people when you listen to them and really ask yourself like why why is there a sense of urgency in this is there actually a sense of urgency in this or are they trying to sell you this thing through a sense of urgency the thing though is that we fall for all of this we lose nights stressing crying we compromise our health and act out in fear and desperation, only to take a step back at the end of the road and realize that this, this whole thing, it was never that serious to begin with. Do you think that the world would set ablaze if you don't lose 10 pounds in 30 minutes? Do you think the sky will come falling down if you don't give 110% at work every day? Do you think that the earth will crack open if you engage in a hobby even though you're not a master at it and you fail in public? No, it was never that serious. It is never that serious. But you see, this sort of mindset gets embedded in us, especially when we become adults. And it is what I think pushes us to become so stoic, so serious about everything. But all of this is just, it's a guard to hide that in reality, we, me, you, we're, we're overwhelmed and scared because it feels like if we dare to make one mistake, we are done for. Indeed, maybe this mindset might help sometimes. For example, if you're trying to run away from an apex predator or if you're trying to make a genuinely life-changing decision but in most cases in most decisions that we take it makes us act in fear and it makes us throw away any shred of critical thinking if you want a comparison being so stoic and serious all of the time and taking everything so seriously will make you walk through life like you have a stick up in your ass and who the hell wants to have a stick up in their ass you know, unless it's your thing. If it's your thing, then, and if you like it, then good for you. Moreover, I think that the serious attitude towards life can keep us from doing things that we want to do. It can keep us away from forgiving ourselves and nurturing ourselves. In the pursuit of always looking perfect, being perfect, we forget to have fun. We forget that failing is a natural part of learning. We forget that mistakes are bound to happen. We catastrophize things that do not really need to be catastrophized. And 
we just lose sight of the things that are actually important. You know, looking back at the few pursuits that I've had in my young adult life, I realized that most of my worries were because of things that actually do not matter. I used to cry and suffer over work projects who got swept under the rug and forgotten in a matter of days. I used to hide my passion for the arts because I thought I was pathetic. I used to not want to engage in activities by myself because I might look silly and lonely. I was, and still am, taking myself too seriously. And I lost sight of so many things that might have been potentially fun or, you know, at least good learning experiences. I think all of us are taking ourselves too seriously and all of us are losing out. So yes, very few things matter in life and they are different from person to person. The rest is just a playground ready for you to explore. Make a fool of yourself. Be silly. Trip and fall. Be curious, lighthearted. This is not a call, obviously, to inhibit your feelings, your worries, and run away from things that you see as problems, but to try to approach life in a way that does not put the weight of the world on your shoulders. I'm, I'm not here to tell you what matters because I think that's a journey that everyone needs to take and for everyone it is different. Maybe for you, your career matters the most. For other people, it might be their family, their friends, their passions. It's whatever. That's your journey to make and I'm, I'm not here to dictate any of that. But I think it's really, really important. Like whenever you feel overwhelmed and you feel like, oh my god, there's so much weight on my shoulders, really take a step back and ask yourself if these things matter and then only keep the things that matter to you as something to worry about. And then the rest, you can just approach them with the mindset of like, this is not that serious. I'll just, you know, be inquisitive, play around, learn as much as I can, but it's no biggie if it doesn't turn out perfect. So the next time you feel bugged down, really ask yourself like does this matter to me and if it doesn't laugh and approach the situation openly and as creatively as you want and in a relaxed manner and then if the thing really matters to you just laugh at the challenge and go forward at the end of the day all of us are speckles of dust on a moving rock so why not just have fun while we're at it